So if you take a look at the screen here, we have our previous photo frame we try to create using some tips and tricks. And we want to access this auto connection and auto default tool in Tecla structure and try if you can use it. So to access it, you can you come to edit. So under edit, you'll come to components and click on that drop down arrow and pick on create auto connections. So under auto connections here, we have advanced, we have two tabs, advanced and and uh, rule groups. So under choose uh, predetermined, pre, uh, predefined rule group for connection, just click on that drop down arrow and we have some connections, though they might differ from the environment you're trying, you, you, you use because I use, I frequently use UK environment. So I have fin, end plate, click angles, uh, preliminary material fittings, basic, that is under, th that's under connection or auto connection. So let's try and create a connection here. So I'll pick on the end plate. I'll pick on the end plate. Then uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave that at factory, uh, at factory defaults. So what I'm trying to, I want to create, I want to create a connection in, in between uh, for the two, the column and the rafter, and try and create a connection there for the end plate. If I click close by clicking cancel, you'll be able to see I have my connection in place. So the auto connection and uh, and auto default uh, auto defaults has some predefined rules that you have to follow and either customize it to to what you you'd want so let's try another connection by deleting this let me just select on that and delete that so let, let's come back to edit and come to components and pick on create auto connection on that so let's select everything here let's select everything here and come to and come and pick on that and try select uh, end plate and try create auto connection so you'll find other connections will be created on that end and this one may not work this this is a type of end plate connection and this might work at this particular end and this one is not working so we will undo that and undo that so we'll come here under quick launch and type auto connection, auto connection, and it'll pick on auto connection here, auto connection settings here. Then under auto connection settings, we have all, we have all, we have a variety of rules. So under fin plate, we will click that plus sign and you'll be able to see all the connections that are, uh, that you can find under fin plate. So under fin plate, we have beam to beam, web connection, beam to beam web connection. We have beam to beam flange, we have beam to column, we have beam to beam to column flange, we have uh, beam splice. Then if we minimize that, let me first of all break down this, break down that and try right click. You can you can select the, the connection type. Let me just minimize that and come to end plate. So under end plate we have the same uh, predefined types of connections here a secondary secondary skewed no connection right click if you pick that connect uh, connection you might use it basic connections we have beam all that uh, round tubes we have that if right click and select that type connection you can apply it to your own connection so close that and come back here and try we check uh, take a look on take a look on auto defaults connection auto defaults we have factory defaults there we have the factory defaults here so if i click under if i drag that if i click under component one we have end plate and if right click there you can you can edit that type of auto defaults connection you can edit that and that will take you to that to 144 then if you minimize and come to component 17 component 17 you can pick on the high span rolled uh, sleeved pick on that and select on that and try to edit that rule we have everything there so that's how auto defaults work 
your auto, auto connection work and especially if you if you this works better if you you are creating a mezzanine floor and you want to create a connect connections one go or one set a go what you do you come to edit select components and create connection and type pick the type of connection that you you might work better for that for for mezzanine floor i'll pick on end plate and select the whole model and click create connection like in this play in this particular case i've selected that and i've picked on end plate then create connection connection will be created right there right on the spot right click and redraw right click and redraw and there that's how you can use you can apply auto connection and, and how to access it edit and come to components and pick auto connections let's meet on the next uh, topic and subtopics. Music